Good day everyone, my name is Ben Rantala and I'm the Senior Tech Support Specialist at NSS Canada located in Sudbury, Ontario. Today we are going to go through the Cyclone Register 360 Plus software and I'm going to be importing four scans that I've done on the RTC 360 and linked in the field using the Field 360 application. So once our software is open we're going to create new project so I'm going to call this NSS Canada Office and click OK. I do not need a background image, so I'm just going to click None. I'm going to go to my file location, so you're going to see RT360 Store. I've named it NSS Office RT3, RTC360 Scan, and I'm just going to drag that file into the drag files here. You're going to see that I have my data source, RTC360 NSS Office. You're going to see I have four scans, and first things first, before I actually click the import, um, I don't have any black and white targets, so I'm not going to use the auto black and white target feature. Also, same with the sphere targets. I have pre-registered the scan data in, in the field using the Field360 application, and I have a scan with some images, so I'm just going to make sure those are two checked and ready to go. So I'm going to click Import. And this time can take anywhere from five minutes to an hour to longer, depending on the size of your file, how many scans, if you used images, densities. All right, we have successfully imported the scans. So I'm just going to click OK. And you're going to see here I have my sitemap, bundle cloud, and true slicer. Off to the left, I have my actual bundle. And I got each scan set up in there. And if you click on each scan set up, you're going to see what links are attached to what scans. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these sidebars. Yes, yeah, so I got a little bit better of a view area. So you're going to notice that this red link is saying basically that we are over the two centimeter accuracy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and fix that. So I'm going to click my scan setup four and scan setup three and I'm going to use visual alignment. So you're going to see here as I move one scan, I'm going to overlap it over the other. I am going to zoom in to one area that I want to start with. So I'm just going to move my scan to there and I'm going to zoom out and you're going to see down here though we aren't fully connected to the other scan. So I'm going to start where I started. I'm going to click Rotate Cloud. I'm going to click and hold Alt, and you're going to see I can now rotate the whole cloud, and I'm just going to get it over around right to the corner. So now you can see it actually lines up a little bit better. But once I hit Join and Optimize, it's going to run the software algorithm to give it its best fit. So I am, for that, we're going to do our side view just to make sure everything's copacetic. And you're going to see here's the point cloud over the other point cloud. And I'm just going to lower it a bit and zoom in just to make sure. And I'm going to hold Alt again just to make sure that I have it lined up as best as possible. So join and optimize. All right, so we have an absolute mean of one mil, which is not bad at all. And you're going to see the link change from red to green. So we can do the same thing, do the visual alignment, but instead of that, I'm going to right click my link and I'm going to click join and optimize. And you're going to see I got an absolute mean of one mil. I'm going to click OK. And the link has updated successfully. And my last one, just to make sure everything's good. And I'm going to click OK. And there we are. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean the point cloud get rid of some of the scan data that we just don't need in the scan. So I'm going to click on Bundle Cloud. I am now going to hide my sides again. And we are going to clean this cloud data. So you're going to see here, this is the inside of the office and this is the outside. So I want to get rid of this outside data. So first I'm going to zoom all the way out to see where the scan data goes to. I'm going to click rectangular area and I'm just going to hold and drag over and there we are. And you're going to see I got delete inside, delete outside, restore inside, restore outside. If I were to delete inside, everything that's within that rectangle is going to be deleted. And if I select delete outside, everything outside that rectangle is going to be deleted. So I just want to delete the inside. And there we are. So now we're going to do the final little cleanup using the polygonal tool instead of the rectangle. So I'm going to click here 
And I'm just going to click down and make the mouse click. Bring over, bring over, back, and meet up with my first. And again, we have the same options, and I'm going to delete inside. And there we are. Now, since I have deleted the point cloud, it is not gone forever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my rectangle area. So if there's something for some reason I deleted by accident, I'm just going to go in the area that I have deleted the point clouds. I'm going to use my rectangle feature and I'm going to go restore inside. Anything within that rectangle that I have deleted is now going to be restored. So as you can see, there we are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a quick little clean up here just to get this data out of here. And I'm going to go delete inside. All right, so in our bundle cloud as well, we can view our sides, rotate around our full point cloud. We can go into the point cloud, see what we're working with. And as you can see, we are hard at work. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to our site map. And we are ready basically to finalize our registration and get us on the way. So we're going to go back to our bundle cloud. And I'm going to hide these and I'm going to click my bundle. And you're going to see here that I've clicked the bundle and I'm now going to go optimize bundle. So successfully optimize bundle and I'm going to click OK. You're going to see now that I can go to my finalize tab. And here is basically saying, hey, we are ready for export. Are you happy with what you see? So our bundle errors, three mils, our overlap strength is 74%. Our total overlap strength between all four scans is 61% and our cloud to cloud is three mils. So I'm going to accept that. It's going to capture an image for the PDF. If you wanted to actually print out and give your client a PDF file of what the work you have done and you're going to see before I had an exclamation mark. Once I have hit accept it now goes green saying hey I am ready for export everything is good and I'm going to click accept. All right so we are ready to publish. So you're going to see here that I have my report options and I can configure this to show NSS Canada, site, lo uh, site map image, logo, links, table, targets table. This is all configurable so if you just hit the configure tab. So you're going to see here that I have an image that I just don't want in my PDF so I'm going to unclick it and I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to go update report and we are ready to now go to our publish options. So it, depending on what your client is looking for, we have many export file types. Uh, for this client, I'm going to go LAS. Once I click it, it's going to ask you where do you want to save it. You're going to see save type, LAS file, names the file name, NSS Canada Office 1, just saying, hey, this is the first one. If we had multiple uh, views or point cloud bundles, we could actually name you know bundle one bundle two bundle three so all we're going to do is click save and you're going to see this little tab come up and it's just going to say hey we are ready to publish this so i'm going to click the publish and here we are so once this is complete you now have a deliverable for your client